everybody, it's Kate. I wanted to come in and do a quick tutorial showing you how to resize your camera in OBS. Um, I've had a few requests for this because people are buying their webcams and then adding them as a source and realizing that it doesn't fit their canvas completely. And so it's a very easy fix. So I want to show you that today. This tutorial is assuming that you already know the basics of OBS and you know how to add your camera. You have your webcam. Um, you know how to add it as a source. You know how to access your properties panel, either from the properties button or right clicking. And so this is uh, all the basics. I do have videos on those items as well on my OBS playlist and my channel. So you can check it out there. But let's get into... Um, some tips and tricks for resizing your camera so that you can place it on your canvas in the way that you want it to be for your classes or whatever you are live streaming. I live stream my fitness classes, so I reference that often. Um, okay, so you are, are probably here because either you've opened up your camera, you've connected it, and when you add your camera and then click the red handles to resize it to cover your um, canvas, you notice that if you resize it to fit the height of your canvas you do not cover the width of the canvas and that might be frustrating to you because you want the whole view especially if you're teaching fitness because you probably have a lot that needs to be shown in your camera and so it's an easy fix for the webcam hopefully you have a higher end webcam that gives you 1920 by 1080 or uh 1920 by 720 i can't remember what the dimensions are anyway i'll show you that in a second uh, because the other option people will try is they'll try to just drag out the sides here and they're like, wait, that doesn't work either. And sometimes people will try to hold down shift and then drag out the sides and then they're like, well, wait a minute, now I'm too close. And so all of those things are now what people want. They want it to be like, you know, the full, um, the, just the basic full canvas. So all you need to do is make sure your camera is selected and either right click on your source and then go to properties tab or you can also access the properties tab by highlighting camera here and then clicking the properties button. So here I am in my camera properties. Make sure you have your device selected as your webcam. So mine is my Logitech, it's a 920. And then uh, under the preset option, here's where you're gonna have options. And you want to choose, uh, if you have a higher end model webcam, you should have 1920 by 1080. That would be the highest resolution to choose. If not, this should be your next highest one. If you don't have this option, I'd probably go get a different webcam. <laughs> um, and so you select either of those and click OK, and it's going to resize your camera. You can see it got a little wider. Yay. So now I can either use my mouse to click and drag out the handles, or another fast, easy way is to right click on your camera, go to properties. Oops, not properties. Right click on your camera source. Uh, go to transform and then select fit to screen. Boom, done. You've got your camera. You've got your entire space, your extended space showing on your scene. Um, so the other thing you can do, just a uh, few extra tips while we're here, you can right click again and go back to that properties tab and just play around with these other ones just to see what they look like, get familiar with them. Um, but again, you can also change. I usually could just keep it at my 1920 times 10. 1080 and then I will use the handles to make it bigger or smaller or to stretch it out. Um, if you stretch your camera beyond the width and length of the um, OBS canvas, you're going to see those like striped lines on the edges there. That means that just is telling you that you have excess camera that's kind of hanging off the edges, which is totally fine. Like I can still stream like this. And, um, but it just gives you a, a reminder that, hey, you could shrink this down and you'll be okay. But sometimes you do want to um, pull yourself to make yourself bigger or to like zoom in. Um, and that's totally fine. You can do that. It doesn't uh, harm anything. And then, of course, if you always just want to get back to the fit the screen, you can just right click on that camera source again and choose transform fit to screen in your back. Boom. Um, and then the other thing that sometimes I will do when I'm doing scene setup is I might like drag just one side of the camera off off screen and then I can just actually adjust the camera view so I'm just actually tilting my camera here to center myself so sometimes I do want myself like this because I'm going to place on this side maybe like a, a text box or an image or something and if you've seen some of my example classes on my channel you've seen how I do that with like my reminders my welcome my thank yous that kind of stuff and that's because I just dragged my camera off screen off screen on this side 
and it makes the camera appear to be more square even though it's really not I just dragged it so there I am fit full screen and you can just slide it over and you can totally stream like this that's fine the other option you can do rather than dragging off and I don't really think it makes any difference is you can crop the camera um, and I don't often crop the camera because then I have to uncrop it when I want to change it back but what you can do is you can um, when you're hovering over the side handle and you hold down the, uh, I always forget what it is, the command key. Nope, it's not command. Nope, which one is it, Kate? Which one is it? Can never ever remember. It's neither of them. <laughs> I have to play around with like three or four buttons, and of course now I'm just pushing things. Uh, I am going to figure this out for you, though. Nope, nope, that's not it. Nope, there it is. Okay, so I don't know why it didn't turn green though. So normally my OBS turns green when I do this option, but you're holding down the option key on a Mac, which I don't even know what that correlates to on a PC, I'm sorry. But when you hold that down and then drag in the handle, it's gonna crop the camera. Um, and normally I have a green line. I don't know why it's, uh, I don't know why it's staying red. Anyway, you can crop the camera this way too. So basically I've cropped the camera so I can get that same effect. And you know, if I don't want to do that, I can just uncrop it by just holding that same button and uncropping until it comes back to its original length. Or I can do the right click again and get it back to, um, where did I go? Transform, fit to screen, and I'm back. So you can play around with that and that will help you get your camera into place so that, center myself here again, um, so that you can get yourself full screen. And I hope this was helpful. You guys can ask questions below if you have things that you're still wondering. Um, and I hope this helps with that question that many were posing about how to resize the camera so that you can see yourself. Um, if you have other questions or if you have other uh, suggestions for tutorial videos, just let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you would like to see more tutorial videos or any, uh, I have some workout videos posted and I kind of have some random stuff posted. But anyway, subscribe to stay notified. Like this video, that really helps me a lot in my channel. I appreciate it. And um, I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you.